Welcome to Trading Secrets, education and small business mixed with a bit of zesty Brazilian sauce. Here's your host, Roger. Hello, everyone. This is Roger Magalhas from Trading Up Consulting, and welcome to another episode of Trading Secrets Podcast. Today's episode is number five. It, it is called Seven Ways to Put Safety First in Your Window Covering Business. We are going to discuss topics from the proper way to loading your van to cordless treatments to what installers can do to keep themselves and others safe. According to Wikipedia, safety is the state of being safe, the condition of being protected from harm or other danger. Safety can also refer to the control of recognized hazard in order to achieve an acceptable level of risk. So today I'm going to offer seven different ways you can make your business safer. Number one, protect the dimensions. Our business, as you know, are based on numbers. More precisely, custom dimensions to fabricate window treatments. As we know, they are very expensive. And if you messed up those numbers, if you cross the numbers, it's going to cost a lot of money. Never mind the aggravation and the frustration from a very unhappy client. So when you're doing your measurements, make sure you are focused on that. We all know that the homeowner is very chatty and very excited about getting new window treatments, but make sure you are isolated from everything else. So if they want to talk, you just just come and politely say, hey, Mrs. Jones, do you mind just leave me alone for now? I need to really focus on these. I cannot mess up with your treatments. I just want to take my time here and do my measurement. Then we can discuss any details. Also, don't try to rush. This is the most important part of the whole process. It's more important than get a lead or get a check. This is when the whole experience is really going to start. So take your time. If you use laser measurements, make sure the batteries are fresh, the lenses are clean. Double check your laser measurement with the tape. Once in a while, you you have the wrong settings on, on the laser device. Just do everything you can to protect those numbers and get it right the first time. Number two, measure twice and pay once. It's not uncommon to installers to adjust treatments on site. You need to cut a drapery rod. Make sure you have the measurement correctly. I heard from some workrooms that their installers just eyeball where the cut has to be done. And then next thing you know, the rod is too short. And now you need to come up to Mrs. Jones and explain they don't have the right hardware. They need to come back another time. You just create a very bad experience. If you are drilling through fabric, for instance, a fabric valance, because you need to put a bracket or something like that. Make sure you are on the right side of the fabric. It happened to me personally not too long ago. This job was an island. Nothing's easy when you go to an island. You need to be prepared for everything. It's pretty much a whole day installation. And then we have five fabric valances. And I need to drill through the fabric, and I drill through the wrong side of the fabric. I drill through the face of the fabric. I was devastated. Really a stupid mistake. Cost me another day going to the island. I had to go all the way to Connecticut to pick up the, the corners from the workroom. Is everything on my dime because it was my mistake. Luckily, the lady doesn't live at that house. It's just a vacation house. So it wasn't a big deal for her, but it was a big deal for me. I didn't look like professional, 
the workroom was kind of disappointed because I let her down, plus all the expenses to go back and take another day off from my schedule to go and fix these. So make sure, measure twice and pay once. Number three, buy enough insurance. As a professional, we go to people's home all the time. Sometimes the homes are worth thousands of dollars. Sometimes the homes are worth millions of dollars. You don't want to make a simple mishap. And next thing you know, you need to recover the bathtub because your tool just chipped the bathtub as falling off the ladder. So for all of these details, or if you crack a tile, or you put a dent on uh, on the wall that has upholstery covers. So make sure you have enough insurance to protect yourself, to protect your business when you go to people's home. I don't see insurance as an expense. I see insurance as an investment. If you see insurance as an investment, you're doing the right thing. Make sure you have enough to protect yourself and to give you peace of mind every day as your business run. Tip number four, protect yourself with the appropriate personal protective equipment, also known as PPE. I'll give you two examples. So the constant noise produced by the drill near our ears can cause permanent loss hearing over time. So if you wear uh, plugs, that will help reduce the amount of noise that goes through your ears and eventually it just protects you for a longer period. Also, when we do cutting, especially with a chop saw, make sure you got goggles on. I get it. Wear goggles can be cumbersome, can be can take extra time going back to your van to cut it and all of that. But make sure to protect your eyes. You don't want to save one minute and next thing you know, you have a problem with your eyes for the rest of your life. Make sure you are safe and safety first is always the priority. Number five, protect the little ones. Every time I'm shopping for a new car, I consult with my mechanic first. I want to make sure the car I have in mind not going to give me some aggravation down the road. As installers, we have the power to influence the final decision on the project. So this is a very tricky situation that you need to make sure you're not throwing anyone under the bus. But if you have a chance to suggest a product that is either cordless or with a remote, Chances are you are going to increase the sale, increase the margins for the dealer or for the designer. You are going to look good in everyone's eyes. You're probably going to make more money in the installation, but make sure you're doing these the proper way without saying that the consultant doesn't know what they're doing. Or don't be cocky, just be super humbled and explain the benefits of using cordless or remote products. There are a lot of consultants and designers and decorators, they are still afraid to offer motorization. So as an installer, it is your job to suggest the best product for the project. When we come back, I will have two more suggestions for you. We'll be right back. You're never in business alone. Are you an installer, decorator, student, workroom, designer, window treatment vendor? If so, the WCAA was meant for you. With a community of over 680 members, 13 chapters, and 35 industry partners, we help installers and window treatment professionals like you grow their businesses through community, education, networking, industry resources, and raising awareness. The WCAA Tribe is a supportive community that meets you exactly where you are. You'll gain valuable industry discounts, business guidance, education, and real growth strategies to help your business thrive. 
If you're looking for community rather than competition and meet all the right people along the way, join hundreds of professionals who call us their ally today. Please visit www.wcaa.org. Welcome back to the show. We have two more tips for you to keep your business safe at all costs. Number six, protect the little ones, part two. Perhaps the installer didn't get a chance to explain or to suggest cordless or remote control products. And you come to the installation day and you find products with cords. It is your job to secure the cords, make sure the safety devices are properly installed. Perhaps the homeowners don't have kids, don't have pets, but it is your job to explain to them they are still liable for anything that happened when they sell the home or if they have uh, visitors come and perhaps the visitors bring a baby and the baby get tangled. I understand I'm pushing a little bit on the situation, but they are liable for any problems that may happen down the road. So as an installer, it is your job. It is your responsibility to protect the job and to explain all those details that may not come to people's mind. And last but not least, number seven, secure the load. For commercial vehicles, I highly recommend a partition to be installed. A partition is the metal divider that separates the working van in two sessions the cabin, and the working load area. So the partition offers two purposes. First, it will protect the driver in case of a crash or in case of a a sudden stop so the boxes won't come and crush the driver, in this case, the installer. And also, partition keeps the cabin climate related to to the weather. If it is cold outside, you can have the heater inside and it doesn't get dissipated. And the same works if you work on a hot state and you have the AC on, you you have all the, the cold air trapped inside the cabin. Additionally, when you loading your van in the morning, make sure you put the last job of the day first, and then you work backwards. You want to make sure the first job, it is on top. Also, you keep in mind when you loading the van, you make sure the soft treatments always be on top. You don't want to put creases on them. If you have light treatments, make sure you don't put heavy boxes on top of that. So all of these to protect the product, make sure the product comes to the install on the best shape, on the best best situation possible. In conclusion, as professionals, we should never cut corners doing our job. Doing things the right way may add a few minutes to the task or seems counterproductive. However, it's always better to be safe than to be sorry. The reputation that took you years to build should not be ruined by refusing to spare a few minutes doing the right thing. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Please send me your feedback. As always, I'm open to suggestions and looking for ways to improve upon and make our industry always better. Thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to today's show. Please send us your comments and suggestions to improve your overall experience. Also, make sure to subscribe to our Trading Secrets newsletter via www.tradingupconsulting.com and tell your friends either by word of mouth or via Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Until next time.